Hi guys, this is Ashish from Technospot.net and today I'm doing a review of another iPad app that's called as MailShot. This application brings in the functionality of doing a mail group. For example, you can create uh, groups which has multiple email ID which is not available as of now in the Apple products or the Apple mailing system. It's not in the iPhone, it's not in the iPad. This application works both with iPhone and iPad. So we just take a look at it. It's called as MailShot. So it goes. And here there are two there are two editions of it. One is free and one is uh, the paid one. The free one comes with allows you to create around three groups at the max. And if you want to have more than that, you need to buy that app, which allows you to create up to 50 email groups. So we'll do. To start doing it, we'll create the first one. Let's say I'll name it as family, and then I go and add from my contacts. Let's say add my sister, and then I will add my wife. So one of them is added, and then I click on the update button over here in case I want to edit. I have an edit button over here it changes so that I can delete it so I'll just update it and if you can read this it says address book updated so this application is basically creating an entry in your contact list uh, which I'll show it in, uh, soon but I'll create this one more group and then I'll go and create friends um, okay, now you can see it probably. If you see, there is a new contact that says family, which is actually a group we created. We'll see what's inside a bit later. And I'll add few on my friends list, and, and I'll say update, and it again goes into my contact list, and. Now we've done this, so it's like I'm done with this. So what we'll do is we'll move to the contact group and we'll see what is available there. Okay, so this is the contact book of Apple, and you can see there's a family. Let me close up. family and friends. We we'll see the other part. I've selected family. Now if you see here. It has not done something which is very ingenious because it has both the email address with a comma in between. So generally what we do for sending multiple people. Okay. If you click on edit, you can actually see both the email address, but since I cannot navigate here, so it's really impossible for me to edit this email ID by email ID so that's what it does and I can say yes at yes dot com and can I put a comma and uh, comma 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 okay and I will say one two at yes dot com I don't know it will work or not and I will say that See, you can actually do it this way also, but doing it this way, you cannot um, bring in, like you cannot select from a list, you have to do it all manually. That is why, that is why I say like, you know, a mail shot is required. So like I said, uh, you can create uh, something like that using the Apple's contact list also, you can put comma. But then adding all the contacts, email ID by email ID is very difficult. That is why you need the MailShot application. Because it lets you actually, you know, create, pick contact by contact and add it to the friend list and makes the job easy for you. <clears throat> now, okay, now let's take a look and try to figure out what could be the drawback of this application. Can it really... Uh, do things when you edit or something like that. So we'll just 
update this now this is your friends and family group over here we'll go here and I want to edit this let's say the email ID has changed so I'll go and click edit and it gives me only option to delete and there is no actually option of you know like if I say edit and I click on this it gives me option to delete but there is no option to edit it probably the primary reason is uh, it is not integrated with the uh, contact the iPhone native contact application it just pulls up creates a record here so that the application remembers and it creates a record in the uh, what do you say in the contact list also so you cannot actually change by changing it in the application here so that's one drawback but again since the data is coming from the contact so you know it's always good so you can just go here and let's say delete it and let's say if the contact for Nidhi has changed so I'll just update it go back here add and I'll say let's add it again now let's say if this change to Nidhi uh, 11 at example.com so actually I can pull it here so but there is no hard link uh, I hope you get my point so this is only one drawback over here apart from that the application works fine and now I will show you how the mailing thing will work I'll just uh, let me see I'll show you how you'll be using this application or how this application help you to send a group email so I'll just go here create a new mail new message and I select friends so if you can see here the friends list is here so I'll select this and I say family and it comes over here now I actually cannot scroll to you know find out who is there but I need to go back to the contact list and I need to figure it out that way so you can send a mail to friends and family doing this and that's how it works and there's nothing else you require very simple app and uh, very easy to use and if you have just a requirement of three then you can very well go ahead and use the free app if you need more than that get a paid one and I'm not sure on the pricing but I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the post and uh, that's the thing the application works fine go for it thanks for watching